and I'm getting emotional. Let me calm down. It's your girl Bree, and I'm back again. Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? So I know y'all see something different in this video. I got a Brie Elise neon sign. I'm so excited to show y'all that. And I got some new lighting. So hopefully the lighting is not too bad. Um, hopefully, I think there may be still a shadow. I haven't figured out how to get rid of the shadow. But if y'all know, comment down below and let me know how to get rid of the shadow in my video. Because that bothers me. <laughs> I don't like the shadow in my video. But anyway, we're going to get right into it. So, I know y'all seen the thumbnail. I'm going to tell y'all why I quit pre-vet. And I'm going to put a disclaimer out there. This is not to discourage anybody who is going into the pre-vet field. It's just solely telling y'all my experience and why I quit pre-vet. So, I started off my pre-vet journey, and that's pre-veterinary science, for those who don't know. I started my pre-vet journey in 2013. And I knew after high school, going into college, that I was going to pursue veterinary medicine because I love animals and I know I wanted to take care of them. So I knew going into it that I liked science. But the science was hard at first. It was very hard for me to get it down pat. But I did not like math. Math was never my strong subject. I did not like math. But going into it, I thought that the science would outweigh the math, but it didn't. I soon realized that it didn't. So as I was taking the science classes, they were hard, but I felt like I could still manage it. But when we threw it, when they threw in that chemistry, where science and math came together, I knew it was doing too much for me. I knew at that point it was doing too much. So I didn't give up. I still pushed myself to study hard, pushed myself with tears in my eyes. I was crying literally every single day from that, between the chemistry and the biology, I was crying every day. <laughs> So I was definitely miserable, but I was like, you know what? This is all gonna be worth it. I'm gonna push myself, push myself, push myself. And not to mention, this whole time, I worked a full-time job. And at one point, I was even working two jobs. So it was very tough for me, but I was still pushing myself, pushing myself. And go after a while, of taking these classes, I, it got so bad where I was retaking classes, retaking classes, retaking classes. And college, as y'all all know, is expensive. So me retaking classes was like the worst thing ever. That's how I felt because it's like I was at a standstill and I was retaking and retaking and I just wasn't, I wasn't getting to where I needed to be. So that in itself was making me really discouraged and really, you know, sad. I was really sad that I could not, I couldn't absorb the information as fast as I wanted to. And that's my, my next point. It was hard for me to learn the information as fast as everybody else. And I know you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people but when everybody is in the classroom and they're getting it like this and you the only one like dang I still ain't, I still don't have it yet everybody else is getting it but I'm not you gonna feel left out and you gonna feel discouraged that's just hu that's just being human I mean I told myself you know I'm not gonna think about other people I'm gonna worry about myself but at the same time, and I'm getting emotional. Let me calm down. Because I'm getting emotional because it was so hard for me, y'all. And I, I ain't never got emotional in my videos, but I'm gonna try to 
calm down. Cause it's it's okay. It's it's definitely okay. Let me calm down, y'all. Hold on. And after a while, I started, and then if it looks like I'm crying, y'all, it's because I am. Because that's how passionate I was about veterinary medicine. And it still bothers me, even to this day, that it was so hard for me to get the information down pat as much as I wanted to get it down pat and get it right. But... I'm going to push myself through this video because I got to get these videos out for y'all. I'm, I'm really trying to stay consistent. But anyways, going back to what I was talking about, I was more focused on me being passionate about veterinary medicine. And I wasn't really thinking about the stress of this field and how it was it was gonna get worse because I didn't do my research and I wish going into it I really did my research because I felt like if I did the research that I was supposed to do I would already be prepared well I, I don't know if it'll be I don't know if it would it would have made me prepared because you really don't truly know about a field until you throw yourself into it. Yes, you can do your research, but you really don't know how you're going to react to it until you get into it, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Not only was it hard for me to absorb the information quickly, but me studying and studying and studying even when I got the information, well, I felt like I had the information down pat, I wasn't completely 100% confident in the material I was learning. Yes, I studied day and night, day and night, day and night. I was barely getting sleep either because I was trying to study. And, and part of the reason, and if it still looks like I'm crying, y'all, it's, this video, I knew going into this video, it was going to be hard for me to talk about it. Because I'm still not 100%. Oh my gosh, my voice is cracking. Oh, let me take a, let me take a second. Okay, y'all. This video is going to be extremely hard to film. Just because I keep crying. Because... Y'all don't know this about me, but I'm a crier. Like, if I'm passionate about something or I feel defeated with with something, I'm going to cry. Like, I'm a crier. I'm one of those people that cry. I cry when I'm mad, cry when, cry when I'm sad, cry when I'm happy. So, yeah. I'm going to push myself through this video, but if... If it's kind of broken up, I'm going to let y'all know when I was crying in this video, but I hope I can get this message across because that's, that's the ultimate goal is to get this message across so people that watch this video can understand that you're not alone. You're not going through this yourself, because I went through it. People, if you feel like everybody is getting the information down pat, and you, and you feel like you're the only one not getting it quick enough or fast enough like everybody else, you're not alone. I promise you, you're not alone. You're not. But anyways, I'm gonna go back to what I was saying. I wasn't 100% confident in the material. Even when I would study day and night, day and night, barely getting sleep, it just was not clicking for me. It was it was not clicking, which I prayed about it and I kept praying. And, you know, I really felt like God was telling me, this, this isn't for you. This isn't for you. 
I see you doing something different. And I told, I asked God, I said, please send me a sign. Please send me a sign that this isn't where you want me to go as far as my field. And I took it as a sign from God that this is what I was supposed to be doing. And then it may not, it, I'm not going to say it's something that I wasn't supposed to be doing. Maybe God said, just not right now, you know, just not right now. Maybe, maybe he see that for the future for me. I don't know. I don't know God's plan for my life. He only knows. And I'm going to trust him and I'm going to leave it at that. But going back to what I wanted to mention too, and I definitely want y'all to understand this. This is another point I want to make about going to school for pre-vet or any field that you want to go into. Make sure this is a field that's, that makes you happy. Make sure you're passionate about it. Make sure you do your research because I feel like if I had have done my research, I would have known at least know the ins and outs of it. And I felt like I probably could have got out of it a little bit quicker than, you know, than the seven years I spent on this one field. I feel like I, if I had did my research, maybe I would have only spent four to five years on it instead of seven. I feel like seven years was a lot. But I was trying to push myself because I felt like I could do it. I felt like maybe I'm just not pushing myself hard enough. Maybe I'm just not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But the whole time I really was. I was doing everything I could do. And it just was not happening for me. But going back to what I was talking about. Make sure you're going to school for you. Make sure you're not going to school just for the money or just because your parents wanted you to or anybody else wants you to. Make sure you're going for you because college is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. So make sure you're doing it because you wanna do it. You only have one life. So make sure this is something you're passionate about and it makes you happy. Not because of the money or what anybody has to say about it, about you doing it. And honestly, I never understood. And y'all comment down below if you can give me some insight on this. I never understood why people go to school just for the title to say they graduated college. I mean, are you trying to seek validation from people? Because that's the only reason why I would think people would go to school just to say they went to school, just to say they got that degree. Because half the people that got their degree is not working in our field. And that could be because there may not be jobs, which I don't really think that's the case, but a lot of people just go to school to say they went to school, oh, I graduated college. Like, well, I mean, I never understood why people went to school just to say they graduated college. Because I know, I know a couple people that went to school to just say they graduated. I never understood that. Because if me going into school, nobody told me to go to school. Nobody forced me to go to school. I chose to go to school because I was going for pre-veterinary medicine to be a veterinarian. I wasn't, I was passionate about that. So if anybody who's going into school, make sure you have a clear idea of what you're going to school for. Don't just go to school to go to school. Cause I, I, I don't think that's, I don't think that's smart to go to school just to go to school. So we're gonna talk about the good parts because I don't want to tell y'all all the bad parts of pre-veterinary pre medicine because it wasn't all bad. Um, I actually was, um, and then I said, I mentioned this in another video, but 
I was in the um, in my college. I was in the pre vet club, what was called the pre vet club. And I was at one point. I was even president of the pre vet club. Like we would go to different universities for vet school, and we would, you know, just get some, get a lot of information um, from the vet schools that we went to. We would um, go to the dorms. We would go to the classrooms and the different parts of the university and just learn information about it, which I thought that was fun. We also got animal experience from humane from the Humane Society. Um, we would take care, we would volunteer to take care of the different animals that were there. And I also that thought that was amazing that they had that pre-vet club for us to do that. Um, also, I did a work study and the work study was in um, my biology department. I took care of the mice and I used to think it was so funny. People thought I, people, people thought I was so weird because I liked, you know, taking care of the mice in the biology department. And I used to clean out their cage. I used to keep track of how many babies they would have. What else did I, what else did I do? I made sure they had water, I fed them. You know, I cleaned out their cages when it needed to be cleaned. Um, so that was the work study I did in college. I loved it. I loved it. 100%. Because I love animals. It's just, you know, it's, it's really sad that that didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out. And I do want to mention, I didn't just stop going to school, you know, because of that. I The reason why... I couldn't continue is because after six years the government goes down on how much they give you for schooling as far as FAFSA so in 20 I, I stopped fall 2020 because in spring 2021 I would have to come out of pocket a lot of money to for school and I, I just didn't have it so I didn't stop going to school because of that, because of the veterinary experience. I stopped going to school because I needed to make sure if I was gonna put my personal money into it, I wanted to make sure that whatever I choose to do was gonna be something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be passionate about and I'm gonna do my research on first. So that's why I stopped going to school. I just want to clear that up, but because I don't know, I feel like I feel like that was important to mention so that y'all know. But um, I also want to let y'all know, like I got as far as they called it biology 302, which was cell and molecular biology. That's the last biology I passed, which I got to clap because I'm so happy that I even made it that far because biology was extremely hard and then with chemistry I only made it past chemistry 111 which was general chemistry I didn't make it that far in chemistry but honestly I'm happy I even got that far because it was so stressful um, pushing myself through that and it was really affecting my mental health and crying every day and being miserable it's not worth it it's not worth your mental health it's just not so as i got to the end of my journey in vet school i started to do more research into it and i found out that um it was just gonna get worse when i went to vet like i was i actually subscribed to some vet students um that's in vet school and from what they were saying in the videos, it was going to get worse. And I knew if I couldn't make it past undergraduate school, how in the world was I going to make it to, you know, graduate school, to vet school? Because with, with 
from what my research from in my research, you know, subscribing to vet students, what they had to go to go through was way worse than I went through in undergraduate school. So yeah, that's I know now that that's not something I wanna put myself through. Um but let me know if y'all had the same experience. Let me know if um, you're actually, you found your career and you're happy in your career. I would love to hear y'all's story. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly, greatly appreciate it if you made it this far. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Um, let everybody know how awesome I am, okay? Also, turn your post notifications on so you don't miss another video. Thank y'all. Bye.